I'll kill you both! Please calm down. Don't do this in front of the boy. He's watching us. You turned him against me. Go to hell! You turned him against me! Look at this idiot you gave me. Bucket's got a hole in it. Bucket's got a hole in it. The bucket's got a hole in it. We can't find a more beer. Yes, a hole in it. Yeah, man, the bucket's got a hole in it. The bucket's got a hole in it. You know, I'm a little jealous. Don't you've left it in the car with your backpack? You always bring it with you. I don't want to risk it being stolen. You know, cars and backpacks are easy to replace, but trumpets like this? No. Baby, relax. You're my partner. She's only my lover. Are you nervous about the concert tonight? Of course not. I'm first rate. Oh, very modest. But something is wrong. I can sense it. Yeah. It's always like this on this day. Oh, dear. It's the day I met a very, very dear person. Actually, I'd like to pass by and visit on the way. To tell you the truth, I'm... I'm expected. I'd like to meet this person. Is it a beautiful woman? It's not a she. It's a he. <laughs> Should I be worried? No, friends. Friends, just friends. Nothing ambiguous. This is one of his recordings. Very beautiful, but sad. The blues comes from deep within the soul. Every piece has its own inner sanctity. Luke would say that every concert is a mass. He really must have been very important to you. How come you never told me about him before? Every time I play, I'm talking with him. Every time. It's our secret.
welcome. Come and eat. Sweetie, I beg you. Tomorrow you have to go on an empty stomach for the visit. Hmm. It's going to be a long day. We are both tired from the trip, huh? Let's eat now, and then we'll rest. Don't get dirty, my love. You're a young man now. My little man. Thank you. Hello? 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 My dear friend, this affair will never end in the forever blues. And the smile that you wear will survive as the years pay their dues till the beat of your heart is part. She'll never know you the way that I do Forever blues hang around me Trying hard to get me down I'm gonna fool them somehow And carry on the best that I can Lino Petruno and his blue form are right, especially to the solo trumpet and Luke Luca. Luca, where are you going? Why 
give me the slip there making you look like a fool. You're not a fool. You have created such a fantastic place in a small town like this. Alas, you're the voice of this club. I didn't give you the slip. I just wanted you to have your moment. You've gambled away so many opportunities behaving this way. Do you ever think of what we've lost? <sighs> what can I do? I'm allergic to happiness. Here, take mine. No, no, I'm trying to quit. I just like the taste of it. Luca, we were a great duo. Isn't that true? Come on, don't be stupid. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Hey, I said, come on. certain things and he wanted to film me too spare me the details why don't you find your why don't i find myself a job like i should of course underpaid sales girl handing out flyers babysitter with a kid in my arms and dad's hands on my ass no thanks look i cannot always pull you out of trouble you are becoming a second job well i'm willing to pay you well you know Stop it. I could be your father. Taxi! Bring her home. She will show you the way. Together, we could show him better. Come on, get in. Good night, Barbara. Thanks. Milan makes me nervous. Too much fog. You're a damn failure without ambition. I love you too. Who's wrong? You or me? Ha <laughs> ha. 
You finish your cappuccino. Mom would have given her soul to protect me from the evil spirit of the world. Every time I think of it, my heart breaks. Poor Mom. I made her suffer so much. It wasn't your fault. You don't think so? Still, it was kind of my fault because I understood what was going on and I chose not to speak. Disappointing every expectation. But I had built a wall. And that strange music came from the club. Beneath that little hotel. is watching us. Please don't make a scene in front of him. Haven't you done enough already? It's your fault he's become like this. Yeah, right. You've always been good at putting all the blame on me. But I'll help you get rid of that habit. Don't you dare threaten to leave me again. Just leave us alone once and for all. No, 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 no. Marco, why don't you go to bed? Mark. Marco?
That's never happened to me before. That someone listened to me so attentively. Thanks, Mr. Believe it or not, I'm amazed too. He's Marco. I'm Sarah. Pleasure. Luca. You have a new admirer. My son, he doesn't communicate so easily. He's. He's shy. Shyness is something that can be cured. But that doesn't mean it should always be so. Will you teach me how to play that? It would be a pleasure, Marco. She's beautiful, isn't she? I'll tell you a secret. I don't play her. It's she who makes use of my fingers to be played. It's a kind of magic. Thanks to the trumpet and these gloves. You know who they belong to? To a musical genius. Louis Armstrong himself. Who's that? Well, actually, you're too young to know who he was. He was the greatest trumpet player of all times. At least for me. Don't move, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, once upon a time, there was Louis Armstrong, also known as the Big Satchel. And you know why? Satchel mouth. Yes, because when he played the trumpet, his cheeks puffed out like two bags, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Towards the end of his career, Louis came to Italy, and I had the chance to meet him. That's how I found myself cheek to cheek with him. And I told him, you're the greatest Sassman. He looked at me smiling from ear to ear, and in a muddled Italian, he said, thanks, Peter. But it's not true. There will be someone greater than me. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Are you telling me I'll be as great as you? I asked very excited. He shook his head and said, no, Peter, not you. His name will be Marco. And I think if Louis was here with us tonight, he would dedicate this piece to you. It's a wonderful prayer that the black people from Louisiana sang on Sundays in church. And it says, when the end of the world comes, the saints go marching in. And I, would like to be there too. Okay, boys? When the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in. Lord, I want to be yes in the number, yes. When the saints go marching in.
believe me. I'm not saying this just to be nice. I don't know how to thank you. It's rare that my son shows such interest. It's as if he's broken off from the outside world. What's the problem? It's very difficult for a mother to admit. But Margot has serious difficulty in communicating. And with my work, I don't manage to look after him that much. I'm a social worker for the elderly. I've tried everything. Believe me, everything. Then I heard good things about the clinic here. It's nearby. So I decided to attempt. We went this morning, but they won't give us the results for another day or two, unfortunately. You mean uh, Professor Gaspar's clinic? Yeah. I know him. He comes to the club. Tomorrow, I'll give him a call to speed up the process. He'll increase my debt to you. But I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I'm actually married. Unfortunate, but true. And I'm actually single. Fortunate, but true. But relax. I'm not a predator. Mm. Too much trouble. Mm. Good night. And thanks again. Good night. Night. Sure, they're a great group. Who knows what happened to them all? Hey, Rihanna sold everything and moved ten years ago. On the other hand, it wasn't easy staying here after after that night. What night? Excuse me, I'm Tio Mangano. I write for the local paper. I, I recognize you. Saw the saw the posters for the concert. Oh, nice to meet you, but I don't feel like You know, it. it's not every day to do a famous um, pianist coming in here. How come? <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to go to the bathroom. Oh. And anyway, I'm not a pianist. I'm a trumpet player. Right, that's, that's what I meant to say, obviously. Listen, would you grant me an interview? Just a friendly chat? Very quick? Oh, oh please. It would, it would save me. You know, I'm on the brink of unemployment. Nothing ever happens in here. Okay, please. okay, okay. But not now. Oh. Not now. I'll call you later. Oh, okay. thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's my number. It is. Here it is. You can call me anytime. Uh, you know, I won't waste your time. Uh, you know, I have this rule. I never, right. never okay. write anything that the average reader right. can't read while sitting in the toilet. <laughs> really? <laughs> Stimulating. But you should interview some pop star, rock singer. What do you think your readers will care about a jazz trumpeter? Yeah, I know. But, you know, your face on the poster, which to me is already a good thing, so... Well, thanks a lot. I'll be expecting a call. I'll call you. Talk to you soon. Sure. Thanks. Bye. What a character. Good. Hey, you still haven't answered my question. What night? It was the night, the first and last day, I spent with my friend Luca. It was here that he came to get me the morning after after the visit. What's going on? You're asking me? You're the one that goes around offering his arm to damsels in distress. She came knocking at the back door almost half an hour ago. She wanted me to call you at all costs.
I'm so sorry to bother you. But I really didn't know who to turn to. What's wrong? My husband's car outside. I saw it from the window of my room this morning when I ran here. Immediately. He's violent. It's a very bad situation. I don't have time to explain it. Please, Luca. Could you look after Marco? Just for a few hours. Just enough time to, to check out what's going on. I don't want him to see certain things. He's seen too much. Already. Why don't you call the police? Don't you think I, I already have? You don't know who I'm dealing with. And then... The first thing they will do is to take Marco away. And they'll put him in the home. And I couldn't take that. I'm trying... I'm trying to get a legal separation without making things worse. I know we only met yesterday, but... I feel I can trust you, Luca. Please help me. I nearly forgot. Call the clinic. The results of the analysis will be ready today. I'll never be able to thank you enough. You're gonna get yourself into trouble. Trouble is the sort of life. Well, you go looking for it. Listen, Luca, I want to make things clear. I don't want any problems in this club. Take your rented son and go take a walk. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Relax. We'll go out the back door. See you later. Hey, young man. Ready to go? My mother had to go to the clinic, so she left you with me. We go take a walk around. But I have to tell you, I have some bad news and some good news. The bad news is that I don't have a car. The good news is that it's quicker on foot. Any objections? Good. The origin is in the slavery of black Americans. When they worked in the fields, they sang to keep themselves alive. That's how the blues were born, to help them endure the suffering and the monstrosities of life and death. The great Sappho said that every star in the sky is the soul of someone who died. That's why there are millions. Our ball! Shall we teach them a lesson? But I, I don't know how to play soccer. But I do, and together we'll be an unbeatable team. I'm gonna lay down my heavy load Down by the riverside Down by the riverside Down by the riverside I'm gonna lay down my heavy load Down by the riverside Study war no more Ain't gonna study war no more Study war no more, study war no more. Ain't gonna study war no more, ain't gonna study war no more. Study war no more. I don't lay down my 
sword and shield down by the riverside down by the riverside down by the riverside i'm gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside study war no more ain't gonna study war no more ain't gonna study war no more study He raised his fist because he's a sore loser. You humiliated him in front of everyone. We won. What? Well, the most important thing in life is a bit of glory. Money is spent sooner or later. But glory you can carry with you everywhere and all the time. However, I see that when you want, you're the voice. Use it more often. All we need now is a good bee to celebrate. But where? In the open air, like in the old days. Good. Now let's see how we can resolve your problem. You have to learn how to defend yourself. Did you see that bully? He was bigger. But you could have knocked him down in two seconds. You don't need strength, but technique. Like Bruce Lee said. Who's he? Mm, just one of my friends. I'll show you. Pretend I'm the bully. Rule number one. He who strikes first, strikes twice. It's a surprise effect. Don't wait for them to throw the first punch. Act. Now, if I come at you with my right I. Perfect. The first lesson has been a success. Yes? Ma'am, uh, there's a gentleman downstairs who says he's your husband. But I don't know him. Please send him away. Could you please give me an outside line? One moment. Good afternoon. I'm supposed to come and pick up the results for my son, Marco D'Angelis. Are they ready? Do you really like that thing so much? Basically, it's an extra idiot. Only an idiot would want to conquer a planet where there is poverty, war, pollution, unemployment, human stupidity, and reality shows. you see a UFO? No, but I heard on TV that one day the world will end. And I was trying to imagine the sky switched off. Disturbing hypothesis. I don't think the sky will switch off. Maybe something less serious will happen. The human race will die out. Will you die too? Yes, but there is no hurry. You know what the great Sassman said? The world will end. But certainly not tomorrow. I wish I could have met him. You know what he would do when he felt like crying? He would start running like a madman. He said, there is nothing better when you're feeling down. You want to bet? Ready? 
sack. Go! I'm gonna lay down my heavy load Down by the riverside Down by the riverside Down by the riverside I'm gonna lay down my heavy load Down by the riverside Study war no more Ain't gonna study war no more Ain't gonna study war no more Fast! Second. Do me a favor. Read the names of all the people who live here. Paolucci, Cazzale, De Luca, Mazzatel. Stop. Repeat the last one. Mazzatel. Perfect. Now buzz it. A nice buzz in the butt of the intercom. And now? And now? Now we run! Do you know how to swim? I swim like a fish. I'm really fast. I must have been a dolphin in my last life. Thank goodness I'm not a fish now, with all the pollution in our sea. Do you know why we say swim like a fish? Years ago in France, I think, a nobleman was imprisoned by his enemies in a castle overlooking the sea. One day, he escaped by jumping from the window and swimming away very fast. So fast that the gods thought he had turned into a fish. Do you believe someone can really turn into a fish? Sure. A person can become whatever he wants. If he really wants it. What's going on? You mind your own business. She's my wife, Marco. She's... She's at the clinic for some tests. I was going there for him. I'll take care of that. No, better that you don't. You're out of your mind. Let's go. Look at these posters. They're all musicians we listen to. See these marks are like the rings on the trunk of an oak tree. They tell you how old the record is and how good it is. It's been listened to so much to be this worn out. That means it's valuable. Does that mean that damaged things are better than good ones?
make yourself comfortable. I have to pick up my companion, and then we leave. Your wife? Much more. She's my lover. I've already introduced you to her, right? I want to show you something else. Come. Look at this. A patrimony. Armstrong. Benny Goodman. Davis. Duke Ellington. Ella Fitzgerald. Billy Holiday. Everyone's here. Jazz musicians, blues singers, trumpeters, guitarists, pianists, and all the other is. I have to do something for a minute. Why don't you listen to a good record in the meantime? Fingers should gently brush the keys, caress them delicately. The music must come from your soul. The trumpet is like a marvelous girl that helps you free your emotions and express what's on your soul. Think of a blue sky full of clouds that shift with the wind. And you are that wind that softly blows. Come on, try it. How was that? Let's just say that uh, if we were in an old castle in Transylvania, you would have woken Dracula up. Who's he? Just uh, another friend. Let's see them start. Explain to him that the decorations are not end of it. So, what's the urgent? Do you know the difference between a true trumpet player and an amateur? The first would never touch his trumpet with his hands covered in chocolate. Already at the point where a mere gesture from you is enough? <laughs> Tell the truth. He's not by any chance your secret child. No, but it wouldn't displease me. He's a bright little guy. Brighter than he wants you to think. The last time I saw a kid like that, he became a great artist. If you had pulled this in modesty when we needed it, who knows where we might have been now? Let's not get started with the way we were. What did you want to tell me? That I saw that bright little guy's father, and he is an 
ugly big guy. He came around to the little hotel. He forced your damsel into his car and gone. If you want my advice, you take that boy back where you found him and forget about him. Why do you care? You're not the kind of guy gets involved with people. Yours is a life of music, not charity. Spare me your wisdom, Pierce. I like his company. I'll be at the club in time to play. Don't worry. Anna, could you take us to Windy Hills? Up there? What for? I like Marco to meet a friend of mine. Honestly, I have an appointment. Come on. You know I don't have a car. It'll take ten minutes. Drop us off, and you can go. Marco, convince her. Say something to her. Hmm? How can I possibly refuse now? Results. And the nurse said, in a few minutes, we can speak with the doctor herself. Excuse me. The doctor's waiting. There's no sign of physical trauma. I'm wondering, though, whether there isn't a problem of a psychological or emotional nature. The doctor's always talking riddles. You be more specific. I can't be more specific without having some picture of the boy's family life. In any case, I recommend that you see a specialist, a counselor, or a child psychologist. You saying my son's crazy? Yes. I'm coming. Excuse me, I'll be right back. I get it. You two trying to put the blame on me, right? What are you saying? Get out. Go get in the car. What's wrong with your hand? Let's look for a pharmacy. You didn't want to finish hearing what the doctor had to say. Because the truth hurts. And the truth is that you don't care about Margot at all. It's merely a question of possession. That's why you won't leave us alone. You're the one who's sick, not him. <coughs> you... You hit because you don't know how to do anything else.
tired, eh? Well, that was a mic. It was worth it. Because here is that friend I was telling you about. But where is he? Arco? Meet God. Hello, God. Meet Marco. I know you already know him. Because if you didn't exist, he wouldn't exist. Nor would the rest of the world. But I also know you have a bunch of things to think about. That's why we came here to find you. But isn't God everywhere? You can bet on it. But in the city, with all that chaos, our voices end up being obscured by noise. While here, he can listen to us better. We are closer to him. Hear this wind? It's his breath. I come here when I want to be alone with him. And when he feels like it, he even answers me. You don't believe me? Wait. You hear? Today is in the mood. He repeats my music. That means he's pleased. Well, did you like it? Yes, I was imagining that it was me playing. One day it could be, if you seriously commit yourself, but you have to put your soul into it. But without your gloves and your trumpet, how can I? You said they're magic. The gloves are magic because they don't help warm your hands, but your spirit. The trumpet is a passageway to the soul. Let's make a pact. You promise me you will really work hard, and one day they'll be yours. But you have to earn them. I promise. Good. Then let's seal a pact like good friends do. You have to spit and shake. 
I meant your palm. But that's fine. Marco and Luca returned. That's it. You have to help me get in touch with them immediately. My husband is looking for them. Why don't you call the police? If you won't do it, I will. I don't want anything to happen to Luca. You love him, don't you? I'm sorry. I assure you, nothing has happened between us. That's your business. Don't think I... This has never happened before. I've always been a second to his music. Can you give us a lift? Hop on. Thank you. together. I wanted to have a child with him. But he told me he didn't want to because bringing someone in the world would mean putting death at its heels. That's the way he is. He's not dangerous if you don't fall in love with him. Have you ever hitchhiked? No, never. For Sassimo and so many others, it was normal during the Depression in America. They roamed on foot, in trucks, tractors, carts. They might have been starving, but they were free. Instead, nowadays, there are less starving people around. Medicine, consumerism, all this seems necessary to our physical maintenance. But things like music and poetry keep our souls alive. Bruce Lee, that's the friend you were talking about. The one who taught you self-defense. How many things do I have to teach you? First, the trumpet, okay? One, two, three, four. Hi. Who taught you to drive, Stevie Wonder? You again? Are you stalking me? Look who's here. What's going on? Did you hurt yourself? Nothing. She's my friend. Come on, I'll take you home. I'll look after you. Go give your sister a ride. Wait here. Okay, okay, I've already seen this scene before. Bye. Hey, Luca, did you see that shithead? I sprained my ankle. Is it possible that you can't even cross the street without getting in trouble? Come on in. Get comfy. The priest is out, after all. What priest? A young seminarian that answered my ad for a roommate. Really nice guy. Just that, after a week of being here, he got into a religious crisis and went to see his mom for a few days. 
That's not surprising with you roaming around the house. Who's your friend? He's not my friend. He's my best friend. His name is Marco. And one day he'll be the greatest trumpet player in the world. Marco, this is Barbara. Hi. What can I get you guys? My letter coffee. And, uh... He let a cold shower. How old is he? Almost twelve. Hmm. He's adorable. So sweet. He reminds me of my little brother. Yeah, but it's not a big sister that he needs. Got it. An innocent beginner. You are definitely rotten. I'm not good enough for you, but for your little friend I am, huh? Stop it. Stop it. Stop uh -huh. it. Stop it. I'm ticklish. Uh, I'm ticklish. I'm very ticklish. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <coughs> Watch out. I'll knock you down, eh? I'll knock you down. I'll knock you down. What's going on with him? <laughs> Marco, what's the matter? He thinks we're hitting each other. It's me. Look, your friend. We were only playing. Barbara's fine. Look at strong. He has family problems. Seeing us playing around like that must have reminded him of his father hitting his mother. Why don't you go and take a walk? I'll take care of him. Is this sex? No. This is the first step to love. He's a lone wolf. He always says that reality is a mad philosopher's dream. A quote from his father. A philosophy teacher who one fine day just disappeared and was never heard of again. Until he found his body. Suicide. Oh, how terrible. Victor was just a boy. He he isolated himself from the world and grew up. No friends. And until music came into his life. It helped him come alive again. Now I understand his feelings for Marco. Hmm, it's late. I have to go back to the club, and you have to go back to your mother. Will you promise me you'll talk with her a little bit more? Yes, but can I tell you a secret? What are friends for? 
I'm in love with Barbara. <laughs> That's understandable. It always happens the first time. But give yourself some time. Your heart will still beat so many more times for plenty other girls until one day you meet the right one and you stop there. But how will I know who is the right one? There isn't a rule. You just know, and that's it. A feeling. Did it ever happen to you? Maybe only once. But I acted as if nothing was happening. And I made a mistake. Do you like my mother? In what way? Hey, wait a minute. Let's reestablish the role. I'm the sage, and you're the novice. What do you understand about women? Don't try to understand women. Just love them. And who told you that? Barbara. So you spend your time talking about me? No, we talked after. <laughs> I, I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette. Oh. You're smoking. You always smoke, Arthur. But she kissed me, not you. Yes, but spiritually I was close. So it's almost like she kissed me too, isn't it? I'll buy you a drink at the bar to celebrate. To celebrate what? Your first kiss. Something important. But first, let's wipe your face off. I don't think your mother would like it. Give me five. Probably a street performer. And what an artist. Listen to her plays. Thank you, brother. Thank you, four-legged friend. It's a beautiful night. Ain't that right? What's your name? You can call me the Light Seeker. The one who searches for the light. What light? The light we all look for. I lived in darkness far away. I was a desperado, a violent type without God. My heart was closed to the counsel of the Lord. But then, the Lord found a way to speak to me through music. He said, come to Italy. There you will find the truth. So, here I am. Uh, I still haven't found it, but, uh, but that's my own fault, because uh, my eyes aren't fully open yet. But I've had glimpses. And I sense, and I sense that you, too, are a seeker of the light. So keep searching, and I'll play for you.
Are you all right? Any broken bones? I'm okay, and you? How do you feel? Just give me a few minutes. And I'll be fine. Check the trumpet. I just scraped my head a little. Nothing serious. Do you hear him? I was sick of the lies. What a day we've had. It was a good one, right? We've had it all. Even the thrill of danger. I don't trust anyone else. Just for a few minutes. I'm a little tired. And this pallet is like a lullaby. Listen to it closely. Rarely do you hear something so sweet. Can I tell you a secret? What are friends for? The old story about the trumpet and such much glass. <sighs> well, it wasn't true. <sighs> but I wish it was. I never knew him. <laughs> Sometimes a little bullshit helps color your life. It might not be true, but it's nice to pretend sometimes. It's like a little extra free. On the other hand, the truth makes you pay. I wish you were my father. I might have been worse than him. Maybe he wasn't a good father. But at least he tried. He wanted you. Instead, I'm one of those guys that run, like my own father. Sometimes they are incomprehensible, absent. One day you wake up and discover they are gone. You grew up believing that they hated you. But then you realize they were only afraid of deluding you not been able to live up to it. Marco, don't ever be afraid to give a second chance. Don't be ashamed to cry or to tell someone that you love them. I never told my father. Everything that ends, there is always something more beautiful that begins. I love you. 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 
That was the night that everything changed. The night that my father went out of my life forever, while my mother continued to be a part of it, along with Luca. Yes, because with his death, he planted a seed that kept growing all these years. Without that pain, none of the therapy I underwent afterwards would have helped. It was like knocking down a wall that prevented me from feeling. And even when I did feel, it kept me from expressing it. <clears throat> I'm here for the interview, remember? How did you know I was here? I followed you. I, I was worried that you'd disappoint me and leave. Uh, please don't get angry. A relative? Your father? No. Much more. He was my... Best friend. And the greatest philosopher I've ever known. He always said that in life, for everything that ends, something more beautiful begins. Absolutely true. Was he a philosophy teacher? <laughs> no. He was a trumpet. Thank <laughs> you. 